Your dog cries for the love of you do, our pets love us, or just the treats we give them. Decades ago, the idea that dogs and other animals had feelings would have been laughable. Scientists found it difficult to accept the idea that animals had feelings. We now know that pet dogs produce a greater volume of tears when reunited with their owners, a finding that may be the first evidence of emotional crying in non-human animals. Although dogs don't have the same range of emotions as we do. They are dynamic animals that have real feelings. They can even feel what people are feeling. They can feel when we are sad, excited or nervous. Of course, complex emotional states can be out of reach for our furry friends, but they are experts at expressing the most important thing, friendship. With them, we don't just learn what it's like to have a pet, but to have a real friend. We can teach them all kinds of tricks and tasks with verbal commands. But it's unclear whether dogs understand that words are symbolic spaces for other things or, more likely, that dogs simply process human speech in a much more direct way. They respond to human faces that express six basic emotions, anger, fear, happiness, sadness, surprise and disgust, with changes in gaze and heart rate. And according to a new study, your pet dog might cry. Previous research has shown that when humans cry, their dogs also feel distress. Now, the new study has found that dogs not only feel distress when they see their owners sad, but they also try to do something to help with the same neurology and chemistry that people have. It seems reasonable to suggest that dogs also have emotions similar to ours. They wag their tail to the right when they are happy and to the left when they are scared. Wagging slowly means they are insecure, and fast tail wagging accompanied by tight muscles or dilated pupils can signal aggression. Based on current research, it seems likely that your dog doesn't have more complex emotions like guilt. Pride and shame. The dog who looks guilty when he does something wrong is simply afraid of his reaction to the situation, usually based on past experiences. Dogs most often want to protect those they love, even if there is no real threat, so some dogs show they love their owners by keeping them safe while they eat or relax. They say that angels come in the form of dogs to protect us. Studies show that dogs are sensitive to emotional contagion. They want to respond to the emotions we are feeling. When you kiss your dog, you may notice signs that he knows the kiss is a gesture of affection. While some researchers say this is proof enough that dogs love us, we wouldn't know for sure unless dogs could report feeling love. They may not understand love the way we humans do. Dogs love their friends and bite their enemies. Unlike humans, who are incapable of pure love and always have to mix love and hate in their relationships. Your dog is as smart as a two-year-old. Oxytocin, that is the love hormone, is released to you and your dog when you pet him. Among other functions, this hormone is believed to help with relaxation. Dogs prefer to sleep in the dark. Keep the sleeping area quiet and dark. Mammals have circadian rhythms that are influenced by light. So it's easier for your dog to sleep in an environment with less light. The researchers found that dogs have similar sleep patterns and brain activity to humans, and that small breeds tend to dream more than large ones. Dogs can see movement and light in the dark and other low-light situations better than humans. They are aided by the high number of light-sensitive rods within the retina of their eyes. Dogs have three eyelids in each eye, in addition to a top and bottom cap. They have an ictitating membrane in the corner of the eye, primarily to remove dust and mucus from the cornea. Despite a prevailing myth that dogs can only see in black and white, your dog really can see a spectrum of colors. Tests prove that he has difficulty distinguishing between different shades of green and red, which mostly appear as grays and browns. The shades of blue and yellow are relatively light to him. Dogs can watch TV and many seem to enjoy it. There are a number of features about television shows that dogs find attractive. Some of them are visual, like movement, while others relate to sounds coming from the TV. Dogs' eyes are very different from human eyes, so they see things on TV differently. Dogged.com, a cable channel, is a cable television network and the first television network made specifically for dogs interests canines because it has a much higher number of frames per second and is specially colored to accommodate the dichromatic vision of dogs. Dogs being able to sense death is nothing new. Dogs sense death, alerting people to approaching death. 
Some dogs are specifically trained as hospice dogs to comfort those who are dying. Like them, they may not understand death as something permanent. Sometimes a dog waits patiently, believing that the deceased caregiver will return. Licking is a natural and instinctive behavior for dogs. For them, it's a way to prepare, bond and express themselves. Your dog may lick you to tell you he loves him, to get your attention, to help calm him down if he's stressed, to show empathy or because you like him. Dogs are better than humans because they know things but don't count. Dogs' sense of smell can be amazing, but don't forget about hearing. In addition to hearing, smelling and sensing weather activity, dogs can detect changes in barometric pressure or electromagnetic fields. They can even sniff out cancer cells simply by smelling someone's breath. Even though dogs and people don't fully understand each other, it seems clear that each over time, has become essential to each other's well-being and can help each other to be happier and healthier.